Hey folks, and welcome back to another Blue Player solo play. Now today I'm going to be looking at Michael Strogoff. Now this is a game that is for one to five players, but does come with a solo game right out of the box that only requires one change to a single card. Now I did do a full overview and review of this game over on the Dice Tower channel, so I'm not going to really be diving into the rules like in a linear fashion. I'm going to give you an idea of them, but only as we're playing. And I'm not going to be giving my review. Just suffice to say, I do really enjoy this game. The game itself, we're going to be trying to make our way through this path to get to here, defeat the traitor. Meanwhile, the traitor will be moving along his path, trying to get here and hopefully defeat us. Well, hopefully for him, not for us. Over here in the player area, we have our player board, which I need to reset to our starting hit points and any troubles or dangers as they're called that we may be facing we'll also have a hand of cards and the nice thing i like about these cards is they're multi-function in that they're going to allow us to take advantage of allies we can use them for symbols for dealing with the dangers and they also will control the traitor's actions so let's go ahead and just dive right in and start playing because on your turn you can do one of three actions. But the first thing you have is an optional action to use an ally. And if I look in my hand, I do have her, but I don't really feel like we need her ability right now because all her ability is going to do is allow me to roll this and I have a one in six chance of even getting anything out of it. I think I'd rather hold on to her card. So we could also rest. There's no reason to rest, so we will advance. Now advancing is a press your luck thing in the game because you advance, you reduce your health by one, and then you draw a card. And this was bad for us to start this game because anytime we have two symbols that match in a line, we immediately bust and we have to suffer the consequences of our actions. So here we have to flip this card and we'll cover that in a bit what that means. And here we're going to lose a health and that's going to end my turn. Next up will be the trader and we will draw a card for him and he is going to advance by one. He, we are going to roll this die, hopefully get a two. We get a one that doesn't work and the Tartar army will move to the 10. Now they can move into certain spots that'll change their value, but the 10 does not. And that's gonna be it for the traitor. Coming back to me now, I said we would explain this flipped over card. Anytime you've flipped over card or if your health is at zero, you can't choose to advance. So I can't advance. So instead we have a choice to rest. Resting either allows me to draw two cards, flip over one card or gain back one health and I can do those twice so I can choose a combination of those two times or I could resolve the dangers which simply means playing cards from my hand to try to do them and we'll explain that better when we get to it I think for this first time what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest action flipping this over and gaining back a health now, I hear some of you may be thinking right now, but that makes you bust again. No, the interesting thing I like in this game is you only bust if you're trying to advance. So right now we don't bust again. All right, so that's gonna end my turn and we will return back to the trader. We will draw a card for him. He will advance three, one, two, three. We got that one and then one, two, three. Yep. We will roll this die again. We got a one and they will move to the eight, which moves them here. Okay, now coming back to my turn, I can't advance, well I could advance, so technically I could advance, but doing so I draw a card, I would then immediately bust. What I can do is I could play cards to resolve my troubles. Now the cards in your hand, in order to resolve a one that's the furthest right, you can either play a card that matches it or two matching symbols. In order to resolve anything further in the line, you can only do so playing two matching symbols or you can take a health loss to resolve one. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this card here that will resolve that trouble and we'll take this out. And I think I'm not gonna do anything else on that. Now, whenever you resolve troubles, you take all of the ones you resolve for that round and you select one to keep. And that one slides in under here, giving us an extra ability. Now, in this case, I get an instant benefit of drawing a card to my hand. And from now on, my hand size is increased and is no longer seven, I now have up to eight cards. All right, so now we'll come back to the trader. I'll draw a card for him. He will advance two, one, two. We will roll a die. We cut a one, no good for us, and they will move to the seven. 
That's good for us, though, at least. He will move to the two value on that army. Coming back to me, looking at my hand, I still have nothing matching. So I think I'm going to take a move action. I'm going to go ahead and risk it. So I'm going to advance. I'm going to go down to health. And since we're still in this color, we'll draw. And that's good. So we didn't bust. We got to advance. We'll do the traitor now. The traitor will move forward by one. And then this is a new symbol. It's a letter. That means we get a new ally up here. So we'll draw the top card from the ally deck. And we get Nicholas Digasoff. Now this guy allows me to spend cards that match him to take one of these and put it over a trouble, thus resolving it. Now the thing is, is you can't get that benefit of moving it down here if you don't resolve it during your turn as part of your resolve dangers. But it would get something off the line. So starting my turn again, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm going to play this card from him, thus giving me one of these. And then I'm going to take a rest action, and that's going to resolve that card. So that will go away. We'll just mix them over here. I'll throw this out here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take a rest. I'm going to take two cards. And I don't like what I've got in my hand there, so I think I'm going to take two more cards. And that brings us to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right to our current hand limit. All right, back to the trader. We'll draw for him. He is going to advance one. We're going to roll the die and move them to nine. So they're going to go to nine, which is going to be a three. We're going to roll the die. We get a three, which does us no good. And the trader moves by one. Back to me. I feel like we could try to advance. We have a ton of cards in our hand. So I'm going to advance, draw a card. No matching symbol, so we are good there. Oh, and we lose a health. Hopefully remember to lose a health earlier. <laughs> okay, so Trader's turn again. You'll see this game moves really fast. Trader's going to advance by one. We're going to get a an ally to A, which means that Nadia here is going to go away. And instead... Alcide here is going to come in and he allows us to trade one of his pictures for two cards to draw. And then the traders move to nine. They're already there, but they do go up in power because that's a plus one spot. So looking over back to me, looking over my hand, I do have the ability to resolve my troubles and we're about to move into a special section so i think i'm going to play it safe here i'm going to play these two cards to take care of that trouble and i'm going to then play these two cards to take care of that trouble so that will take care of that for us we need to keep one of these and i think i'm going to keep this one which means now when we roll that die if we get a five or six we get to draw a card Okay, back to the traitor. The traitor, ah, uh, we're not gonna be able to use him. The traitor's gonna move by one. They're gonna move to nine, thus increasing to a five, and he is gonna go away, bringing out Captain Strogoff himself. Now he's interesting in that he allows us to play two of him to basically get an additional move action if we have one successful move action. So it's back to me. I see no reason why not to advance. So we'll move into here. Now we're in the purple section. So pull this. Now the purple, this is where things get a little more interesting with your dangers. Because if you have, see this, this seems like we bust because it has two symbols. If we have a card from our hand that matches, we can immediately play it during that pull action to cover it up with one of those black discs. However, sadly, we just spent those so we don't have it. So we are going to bust, and we are going to suffer some pretty nasty consequences. We're going to have to discard two cards from our hand, so I will get rid of, let's say, these two, because I have plans for this, and we need to flip this card over. And that's going to end my turn. We'll move on to the trader. Ah, it's Captain Strogoff. We go by one, we roll the die, and let's hope for a five or six. We get a five. We get to draw a card. That's good news for me. And 
the Tartars are moving to the sixth position, well, the ninth position, but they're moving up to six, which is obviously their maximum power. Coming back to me, well, I'm going to have to take a rest action. So I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to recover a health. And that'll end my turn. Now we'll draw for the trader again. You see this game moves really fast. The trader is going to move by one. We're going to get to draw a card, which is good for us. And they're going to move to the eight, keeping them at their same power. All right, now coming back to my turn. First thing I'm going to do with my hand here is I'm going to play this guy here because he's going to allow me to take a disc and put it over this symbol. And then I'm going to play these two cards here of matching symbols as my actual action to cover up this one, thus resolving this. Now, this one doesn't have any benefits, so it's just discarded. But hey, now we are trouble-free once again. Of course, I'm also down to one card, so we'll see how that works out. All right, back to the trader. He is going to move by one. And now we're going to have this card here, which is the spy. Now, in the regular game, in the multiplayer game, the spy would move to a specific player. But in the solo game, the first time it happens, she flips over. And then the next time, she will move to my line. The Tartars are going to move to nine, but they can't go up any further in power. So now the, it's going to be us, and I think this is a good opportunity to just rest, because we're going to be moving into this dangerous territory soon. So I think I'm going to draw two cards as my first rest, and then I think I'm going to draw two more cards. So this will get us back up to five cards in our hand. And now back to the trader. Trader is going to advance by two. And I'll start to get in this area, I'll explain. And things aren't looking really good for me right now, if I'm being completely honest. I'm going to roll, hope for a five or six. We get a six, giving us a card. And the Tartars will move to the eight position. All right, now it's back to me. I think we're going to go ahead and advance. We have plenty of cards in our hand. We'll go down by one health and move here, drawing a card. Now, these cards here have two symbols, but they're not going to match, which makes it a little better. But we still have the option to try to cover up a symbol right away. And because I have this, I will put this aside and cover this up. Because really, speed is really important at this point for us. Because that trader is really getting, it's starting to worry me a little. He's advanced a lot quicker than we have. All right, so that was our advanced action. We will use the trader. He will go by one. We will roll the die, hope for a five or six. We don't get it, but we get a two. Forgot we had that as our initial on this guy. So we do get a card, and they will move to the 10 spot, which is good. I kind of want them away from me. All right, coming back to me, I could resolve that trouble. Technically, I do have the things, but you know what? Let's do this differently. So I have one of the guy here that matches this, and it's still in play. So I'm going to use that. Ooh, do I really want to do that, though? Because this is a nice card. On a roll of three, we cover a trouble. You know what? I think we're going to not do that instead. I think I'm going to play two matching cards to resolve it. Or should I go ahead and advance? You know what? Let's try to advance. So we're going to reduce our health by one. We're going to advance and draw a card. Not too shabby. It doesn't slow us down. And we do have the map symbol. So that will allow us to cover that one up. All right, let's see what the trader's got in store for us. He's going to advance by one. We're going to replace the captain here with the captain's mother, Marta Strogoff. Now, she does nothing for us during the normal game, but at the end of the game, during the trader, uh, the final battle, she is helpful. Let's hope we get to the final battle, shall we? All right, and they will move back to nine. Coming back to me, I'm starting to get a little nervous, but uh, what to do? Okay, I think this time we are... Mm, I don't like it. Yep, so this time I am going to use him right at the start to go ahead and resolve one of these. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and resolve this one because we'll cover that up, thus resolving it. 
We need to put the disc there. And now it's our turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bit of a risk here. This is gonna make me stuck here for a bit. Hmm, it's a risky endeavor. Because if they move on to us, if we draw this, we're gonna have to roll higher. And that best case right now, they're gonna be a five. All right, so I think we will rest and I'm just gonna recover two health because this would be our last advancement. So, but it is a bit of a risk. We will try the trader. Let's hope he doesn't send them there. Oh, bad luck. So the trader is gonna move forward too. We're gonna roll the die. We're gonna get a five, which is good for us. And the Tartar army moves to seven. We made a poor choice. Now they will go to five, but I was wrong earlier. I'm sorry, I said that we would roll. That's when you move into them. So what's actually gonna happen is they immediately capture us and we have to draw one of these cards here. Now these cards add additional problems to our line, but they can't be resolved. They are locked and can't be resolved until the final battle. So we actually place them over here. So that means from now on, we have these two symbols in our line. Now it didn't advance, otherwise I would have busted, but well, means I'm not gonna be able to advance. However, it does mean they've already blinded me, so for the rest of this game, we can safely ignore them. All right, so now it's gonna come back to me, and I think we definitely want to go ahead and resolve that. I really wanted to keep it, and unfortunately, I don't have his symbol in my hand, so that's not good for us. Uh, let's see. So we will play these two matching cards to resolve this. We'll bring this one under. And that will be our turn. I'm getting really nervous, guys. We'll see what happens, right? All right, so flip over for this. Moves by one, we draw a card, and they move to the eight slot. Now at this point, I really want them to just hang out over here. All right, comes back to me. We will go ahead and advance. It doesn't matter that I'm moving in with them because I am no longer a threat to them. So we will safely ignore them at this point. So we will draw a blue card into our line. Luckily, it does not make us break. We do not, however, have that symbol. So we are out of luck. Let's move on to the trader. Oh, bad luck. So this is gonna move by one. And now, remember I said this change, since that's the second time this has come up, she now comes into our line adding a symbol. Now we can resolve her like a normal danger, but if her symbol comes up, she will leave us. They stay at eight, so nothing happens. Coming back to me, I don't have the cards to resolve, well, anything. I could try to advance, but man, I'm really running a risk here. But you know what? No guts, no glory, right? So let's go ahead and advance. And of course, it did not work out for us. Now, if I had this symbol, I could play it, but it really wouldn't do me any good since I know that this is going to happen anyway. So we bust out. Looking across here, we are going to take a penalty here of losing a card. Actually, we're going to be losing three cards. So I will get rid of, let's say these three. All right, now it's gonna be the trader's turn, which is not good for us. He will move by one. We will roll the die and let's hope for good news. We get a six that gets us just the one card. Not the best thing. And the Tartars move to the 10 position. All right, this is, we're getting in close. We were very damaged, but we're in close. We are, let's go ahead and rest. I'm going to recover one health and, you know what, I'm just gonna do health completely this turn because I'm gonna need four cards. All right, so let's move on to the trader again. He will advance by one. We will roll the die. We get a one not in our tableau, and they move to the nine position. All right, so now I'm gonna rest, and this time I'm just gonna do the draw cards action twice, so that we have a good, good number of cards in our hand. So I'll move back to the trader again. He will advance by one. 
This symbol came up, which is good news for us. She will go back here into hiding. This will slide over. The Tartar army will move to the eight. Now, let's see what we can resolve, because if I were to advance right now, we'd break immediately. So, we have this, we have this, and I could at least cover something up. So I think I'm going to play these two to cover here. So that will just resolve one card in full. We will put that down here. And this one allows us to discard it to take an additional movement action, which could be beneficial, but we do get to draw a card immediately. All right, Trader's turn. The Trader advances by one. I like that he's moving a little slower. We will roll the die. We get a one, no good for us. And the Tartars move to 10. All right, so shall we advance let's do it we'll lose a health and we will advance let's see no whammy no whammy and we get whammied all right so luckily none of these flip so we're not going to lose what's on here but we are going to need to discard three cards according to the penalties which is my entire hand all right so that was not great but it wasn't completely terrible all right, let's check in with our friendly trader who will advance by one. Now he is in the hardest range. We'll roll the die. We get a six. We get to draw a card, and the Tartar stay at ten. Now, you may be wondering why I, I didn't go ahead and center this. I figured I'd just tell you guys. So these lines can get really long. Now, we've managed to keep this a little clean, but I've had lines go... Honestly, I've seen a line go out, I believe, six or seven and not be bust it's 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 crazy the things you can do when you're pushing the luck okay so it's gonna come back to me i obviously can't advance because i would bust immediately but i am getting nervous so let's go ahead and rest i'm gonna draw two cards and i'm gonna go ahead and draw two more not crazy about what we got I got a bad feeling about this, guys. All right, so it's going to be the trader who is going to advance one. She's going to flip over, and they move back to the eight. Coming back to me, I can't, now you would think I could do this, but I can't. So this symbol here, you can't play a matching symbol unless it's the furthest out card. So we could resolve this by doing this if we wanted to, and that would at least make us be able to move without busting. So I am going to do that. But I don't have anything matching in order to do anything else. So that's going to be our turn there, and we'll move to the trader. I'm not sure it was the most efficient of turns, but we'll see what happens. Trader by one. So now the trader moves into here, and that's going to change what's going to happen. In fact, this is really bad for us. The D means we're going to get a person here, and that's good news for us. And they will move to the 10, and that is oddly enough good news for us. Okay, so from this point on, the game is going to change, because we're now in an end game sequence. So we really need to rush in there and do that because on the trader's turn, no longer are we going to draw a card from the deck to decide what he's going to do. We're instead just going to roll the white die. And whatever comes up on that white die is going to do two things. It's still going to allow us to activate our abilities, but it's also going to move the Tartar army that many spaces towards Moscow. And if the Tartar army enters Moscow before I get into that final battle, well, then we are going to have lost the game. So let's, uh, let's hope that doesn't happen, shall we? All right, coming back to me. I know that I'm not going to be able to resolve anything, but I could go ahead and advance, running a risk here. None of these flip, so let's do it. I'm going to lose a health, and I'm going to move, and we will take another blue card. And we did not bust. Good news for us. And we have a map card. So we get to cover it. Now the thing is, is if you go into the final battle, you still have to resolve all of these. 
So unfortunately, we're going to need to do some heavy resting before we try to advance into this last spot. So let's hope for low numbers. Ooh, look at that, a one. All right, so the army moves by one. That was a best case scenario. <laughs> All right, so we could resolve that. That's good news for us. We have that and we have that, but we need those two symbols and we need some help. So I'm gonna take a full action of drawing cards. One, two, three, four. Mm. You know, not terrible if I think about this. So we have an I symbol here. Uh, and we actually have him over there. So we have an I symbol. We have no wheel, but we do have two of that now. Ooh, okay. So actually we've used him. Problem is I really want her. This is where it's going to get difficult for us. You know what? Um, we'll plan this out in a minute. Let's go ahead and take the trader's turn and see what happens. Because, you know, they could rush down and this could work out for us. Let's go ahead and roll up. We get a two. Wow. One, two. Great news. I'm going to go ahead and take a rest action. And I'm just going to go up to health. Really wish we... Ooh, wait, wait. Let's think about this for a minute. We'd have to take two of the same symbol, which means we could play these two, because on a one or two, we would gain health, and that would potentially get me more health during a turn if we roll one and twos. It's kind of a risk. All right, so we're not going to do that, so we will take the Tartar's turn and hope for a low number. We get a two. Amazing. All right, so now it's back to us, and nothing. Oh, wait, we got a two, so we do get a card. All right, so we don't have enough health. I'm really worried that if we were to advance in now that we wouldn't have the cards to pull this off. Uh, let's see, what could we resolve? We could resolve that. We could resolve the wheel by spending these two. Wait, yeah, these two. And we could resolve then this by this. That would clear our whole line. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll resolve everything. And that will clear out our entire line. I feel better just having them all resolved so I can better see what's going to happen here. Uh, plus it'll give us the ability to do something else. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a risk and take the one or two, since we have been rolling low. Okay, so let's roll the Tartar. He could potentially end the game. We roll a one, unbelievable, that worked in our favor and we gained back a health. Okay, so I know if I advanced in right now, because I have to resolve anything in, I would have to spend this card and lose a health. That would give me just that amount of health, and I wouldn't have enough cards to deal with drawing five. Mm, but we're running a risk here. This is where I wish I could pause this and ask you folks at home what you think I should do. So, but we do have the ability, we do have three of these. Mm. Let's advance. Let's just do it. Let's advance in. So we'll reduce our health by one. Now I know this is probably going to result in a loss, but I want you guys to see how the battle takes place. Because honestly, I feel like I'm probably going to lose no matter what. So this will allow you guys to see how the final battle takes plays out. All right, so the first thing we have to do is get rid of any cards in our line, including this one thus making me think that maybe we made a bad decision getting rid of that line earlier. I think I maybe should have just left them there, but it would have only really resulted in me having two more cards maybe or an extra health because we did benefit from that. So it could have gone either way. It was a bad move, but we have to resolve this. So we will spend this card here and we will lose a health for the other symbol. So that will at least take care of all the cards on our line. Now what happens is we have to draw cards equal to this five here since he's already here. And we'll have to resolve those cards one at a time. Now we do have the benefit of Marta being here. So she does give us the ability to do this. 
So there is a chance of victory if one of these cards is a dice card. All right, so let's draw the first one. And the first card is a map. Well, I have a map, so we're good. We'll draw the next one. It says to lose a health. That means we're pretty much done. We will draw another card. It is another health. Oh, bad luck for us. These cards, I actually don't see these health cards very much. But so the trader does win the game. We are not victorious. If I had a little more health, maybe we could have pulled this off because I did have her. Actually, if we'd had two more health, two more health, I think we would have been fine because these are acting as wilds, but it didn't work out. If we had been able to draw two more, meaning this one, which we could have resolved, and this one we could have resolved. So we could have won, but we didn't. So this game ends in a defeat. But I hope you guys have still enjoyed playing the game. It's giving you an idea how the game plays. And I will see you folks in the next time I do one of these. Take care.